Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. Uh, a great, great festival coming up to, to tell you all about. Um, but first of all, we're going to talk about the great work that OFIC does. That stands for the Overseas Friends of India Canada. And I'm joined by its president, Shiv Basker. Shiv, welcome. Great Th to have you here. Thank you for having me. Uh, Shiv, tell me a little bit about OFIC and, and sort of the background and, and why, what, you know, the inspiration behind it. Yeah, see, we wanted to promote uh, activity between or interaction between the Canadians and the Indo-Canadians and tell them all about where we're all about. So, you know, actually one of the first things that we ever did was in 2016, we raised funds for the Fort McMurray when we had a fire there. Okay. So uh, we don't only focus on just the cultural events between just the Indo-Canadians, but also that affects the larger community. So, you know, to us, we want to be good citizens and we want to promote that and we want to, of course, share our ideas and uh, our culture and, uh, and, 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 the, and the things that matter in the community to, to all right, of us. Right. Yeah. Tell me about uh, the culture. You know, for people that aren't familiar, I think they see, you know, many times they probably introduce with the music and perhaps some performances and dance, but the culture itself, how would you describe yeah. it? I'll just start off with a little bit about my own organization, yeah, Overseas please. Friends of India Canada. We have an executive committee that is made of an augmented Sharma, who's our secretary. We have a uh, program director, Shefali Adhikari. She is our, she loves Bollywood dance and she nice. teaches Bollywood dance. <laughs> so everybody knows about that. Yeah. We have Dr. Narinder Garg, who's our executive vice president, and myself as a Shiv Bhaskar, and Kulbushan Kapoor, who is our uh, treasurer, and Heyman Shah. He's in Winnipeg, but he's our trade director. Okay. We also do some trade stuff. So coming back to the events that we do, uh, we do Festival of uh, Diwali on the Hill celebration, and we've been going on for 23 years. Nice. And that's been going on on the parliament, and we had prime ministers at our chief guest, you know, of course, the High Commissioner of India, different ambassadors, and, and so on. That's been going on for 23 years now. We'll be doing it again. That's usually in October, November. That's when Diwali falls. Yeah. We also do another something called Pravasi Bharti Divas, which is to recognize the Canadians who have done very well in Canada, although they're Indian origins. Right. And the other thing we do is something called Festival of Visak. And more people know about Visakhi as Visakhi instead of Festival of Visak. Visakhi is, is uh, celebrated in North, in Punjab. Okay. And we don't have a large Punjabi diaspora, so a lot of people are familiar with that. But there's also a festival of, uh, there's a month of Visak, which includes a Visakhi, and also, it's also known as different names under cross India. Okay. So, you know, you go from north to east, India is very diverse, just like right. Canada. And uh, there's 16 main languages on the currency, so it tells you the diversity and the different names. So, Gudi Padua is also, also as part of Visakhi, which is starting a new month. So, Vesakhi is actually a new calendar month. Okay. That is a Hindu calendar, but it corresponds between April and May. Right. Okay. If you come to a Georgian calendar, so so it's actually a new calendar for Punjabis as well. And this is when they harvest, they harvest their uh, their, their, their their grains and so on, and then they sell it. So it's also a business New Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a many many things. There's a reason to celebrate. Right. right. And how do you celebrate? What does that celebration look like? Well, it's not necessarily a religious celebration. It's more yeah. of a cultural celebration. So what we do on the on the hill, we will go from north to south, east to west. We'll have a different cultures all across Canada. Because in Canada, we don't just have Punjabis here, but we have people from Maharashtra, Marathis, people right. from Bengal, Bengalis, people from Kerala, Keralites, people from Canada, Bangalore, you know, people from Haryana, people from Himachal Pradesh, you name it. We yeah. have it everywhere. We have such a la large diaspora now. Absolutely. And, and so the other per so we, ha we will bring uh, performances that represents each of that culture. Oh, okay. We can't do all of them, <laughs> but we will do quite as many. Right. So I think we have 13 or 12 different culture performances on this Sunday. Amazing. Yeah. So we, you will see quite the diversity. And if you travel to India from north to south, east to west, you will even notice the change how people dress. And what they definitely when they speak. When right. I go to yeah, India, yeah. Okay, I speak Hindi, Punjabi, <laughs> Urdu, English. But no, in order for me to travel in India, I have to speak English. Really? Eh? Yeah, because Hindi is their national language, but it's not spoken throughout I India. See. So, so you know, I can even get by French a little bit and some Spanish, but mostly French and English and Hindi. Does Punjabi. the food then change too? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's absolutely. what I. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. So, the staple in the south is more rice, and staple in the uh, north is more 
like uh, bread and stuff like okay. that. Okay. They call it roti or chapati. Yeah. But if you, even if you go here, you will see southern uh, restaurants that cater to southern India. Their food is a little bit different, taste is a little bit different than people. But more popular food is definitely from north, like right. from Punjab and that's, that's the yummy. You like your, uh, you know, masala tikka or, yeah. uh, or uh, <laughs> you know, chicken curry, whatever you, yeah. you know, so, so, so that way. But we also want to promote the trade between India and Canada too. As yeah, tell know, me how important that is because that's an important relationship. It's that a, absolutely many people don't a hugely important relationship. Uh, you know, when I worked here, I said in after negotiations, not as a chief negotiator, but so I know a bit about trade. And I think that what you want to do there is you want to say, okay, what is that we do good and what is they, they, they do good and right. how can we benefit from each of them? And I was just recently in India and I just looked out the window. I saw five cranes. That place is growing like crazy really, right now. Eh? It reminds me when we were in the 60s here doing all the infrastructure, right. building all the roads. That was the best times here. They're going through that kind of phase now. They're building all kinds of roads, all kinds of train systems, everything. And when I looked out my window when I was in Delhi of a hotel, there was five cranes there. Yeah. Okay, just like a one window. <laughs> so the activity and the opportunities that we have with India is... Tremendous. Like, they're going to build a lot of nuclear plants. We're the best in the world in nuclear, mm -hmm. uh, nu yeah. building nuclear plants. Uranium. They need uranium for that. Right. Well, we have tons of it in uh, Saskatchewan, right? Yeah. Uh, high tech. They're very good in high tech, but we also, you know, Silicon North, Silicon Valley right here in Canada, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of that opportunities. So I think the amount of opportunity that we have is just tremendous of what we can do. Ship, uh, this is open to the public, obviously. You're inviting the community Absolutely. to come and, and celebrate with you on Parliament Hill? Absolutely. Uh, you have to register. You can go to OFIC.ca and then go under events and register. There's a link there. You have to have a government ID. Okay. And uh, we have lo lots of people already registered. It's a free is for every and everybody can come. That. There'll be also snacks at the end of it. So nice. free snacks, guys. <laughs> and if you love Indian food, we'll Excellent. have free snacks for you. Shiv, really appreciate the time today. Thanks well, so much thank for you joining for having us. Me. Really it's appreciate always, Again, it's uh, a pleasure. that's Sunday, April 16th from 2 to 4 p.m. OFIC.ca to find out more information. We'll be right back. <laughs>